Welcome back. This presentation brought to you by watchmath.com. And we still discuss with section 1.1 from Stuart Calculus book, 6th edition early transcendental. Now we will we're going to talk about how to sketch the graph of a piecewise function. This is one example of a piecewise function and we would like to sketch the graph of that function. Okay, so first let us try to understand the definition of the function itself of this function. So it says that the value of the function is equal to the input plus 2 if the input less than 0 but if the input is greater than 0 then the value of the function is 1 minus the input okay so for example what is f of 6 okay let us check whether the input is less than 0 or greater or equal to 0 certainly 6 is greater or equal to 0 therefore according to the prescription it is equal to 1 minus the input now the input is 6 so equals negative 5 okay let's see another example what is f of negative 2 negative 2 is less than 0 whenever the input is less than 0 it says that the value of the function is the input plus 2 the input is negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 okay so that's just some review about how we compute the value of a piecewise function okay now let us see how to sketch the graph of f of x notice that in each of these so x plus 2 is a linear function and also 1 minus x is a linear function and we know that the graph of a linear function is a straight line okay so let us draw the x and y axis so okay suppose this is the x axis and that's the y axis okay this is x plus 2 and 1 minus x are linear function and therefore the graph of both of them are a straight line okay but now the function is equal to this not for all x only for x less than 0 okay so first of all just ignore this restriction let us just draw the graph of x plus 2 and remember in order to sketch the graph of line it is enough to find two points on the graph so if x equal to 0 then y will be equal to 0 plus 2 it tells us that 0 comma 2 is on the line x plus 2 let me choose another color okay so 1 2 that's a point and let us take another point say 1 if x equal 1 then the value of the function is 3 1 1 2 3 okay let me emphasize again so when we try to sketch x plus 2 here at the moment we ignore this restriction we will soon apply this restriction okay so then the graph of x plus 2 is this straight line okay now we need to apply the restriction the function is equal to x plus 2 only when x equal less only when x less than 0 so this is x equals 0 this is the graph of f is that red that green line only for x less than 0 so this is 0 x less than 0 will be here today it means that we need to erase the part where this one oops okay so we need to redraw again but only 
from x equal 0 from negative infinity up to 0 okay so we already draw but not include that part only starting from x equal 0 all the way down okay again by the same reasoning first sketch the graph of 1 minus x so plug in x equal 0 we have 0 comma 1 is on the graph and plug in x equal 1 the value of the function is 0 so we have that one so we know that the line is something like that but f of x is equal to 1 minus x only for x greater or equal to 0 so we need to erase the part this part the part where x is less than 0 so we only take that part and remove that part okay so let us try to redraw so if we redraw only draw this part that part and okay be careful here this is x less than 0 so 0 itself is not including for that point but it is included here okay so let me yeah so this is a hollow here but this is a full point there so that's the graph of f of x okay now let us look at the problem number 43 so we have f of x a piecewise function defined as x plus 2 if it is less or equal to negative 1 and it is x squared if x greater than 1 and we have seen the trick so the trick just sketch the graph of x plus 2 ignore first the restriction so to draw the graph of x plus 2 we need two points so 0 comma 2 is on that line that point and also say if we plug in negative 1 we have negative 1 comma 1 okay so first just catch a straight line passing through that two point okay that's the graph of x plus 2 without putting that restriction and then we know how to sketch the graph of x squared x squared is something like this so this is also x squared passing through 1 comma 1 so parabola like that okay now let us apply the restriction it says that it is x plus 2 only for x less or equal to negative 1 so where is negative 1 here is negative 1 so it only applies for x to the left of that number so we need to remove so at negative 1 itself so at that point itself is full I mean full point and we need to remove x greater than I'm sorry this should be okay say this is negative 1 I'm not sure what is the problem say but let's say that negative 1 too okay so we need to remove this part where x is not belong to there so when x is bigger than one we need when x bigger than negative one we need to remove it and for the graph of x squared it only defined for x greater than negative one which means that we need to remove the part where x less or equal to negative one so also we need to remove that so then the graph of f of x is the combination of that red and the orange one I'm sorry I need to catch up the video time so see you later on the next video